In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the concept of a net. Nets have to do with three-dimensional shapes, uh, like this cube. And if I wanted to find or draw the net of a cube, the concept is that you take the shape apart, you unravel it. So kind of like you would unravel uh, a present that's in the shape of a cube. What you want to do is you want to unravel the shape so that you get a flat representation of it. If I do this very carefully. Okay, so I've unraveled the shape into this shape here. Okay, so I could draw the net of a shape or the net of a cube like so. Okay, so that would be the net of a cube, and you can see how it would fold up together, okay, to make the cube again. Now, there are certain ways of reordering where these faces are, so I might break off that part and put it here, for example. Would that still make a cube? Well, if I put it all together then yes, yes it will, okay? So I could piece it back together with the pieces all dropping all over the floor, of course. Let's try that. Okay, so I could piece it back together very tidily. See, I'm rushing now. Okay, and then the top going on there. Okay, so it will unravel back. So you could draw this so that that is also the net of a cube. And there are several ways of doing it. Okay, and it may well be that you want to have a go and see if you can draw as many as you can. But that's not the only shape that we look at. You could look at, for example, a tetrahedron. So we introduced the tetrahedron in an earlier video. So the tetra tetrahedron was a shape, a 3D shape, with four triangular sides. Okay? Kind of like a triangular-based pyramid. And this, too, can be unraveled. So you could unravel it so that you've got this shape. So you've kind of got three... I'm not going to draw this very well... Um, Try and draw that a little bit better. There we are. So you've got four triangles next to each other, and they can fold in on themselves to make the tetrahedron. Okay? How about a cylinder? For a cylinder, it seems to be a little bit more tricky. So here is my best drawing of a cylinder. The way that I like to think about this is trying to cut down the middle. So in cutting down the middle, it would be like unwrapping um, the wrapping around a Coke bottle, for example. And what you would find is that that would just unwrap into a rectangle. Okay, so it would unwrap into a rectangle. So they're the two sides I've cut around. And what's left is the top and the bottom. So the top and the bottom are circles, which could be drawn at either ends of the rectangle. And so these, this whole thing would wrap around the two circles at the top and the bottom. So that would be the net of a cylinder. You could draw a net like this. and think, well, what would that shape be? Okay, what would that three-dimensional shape be? Well, those sides would fold inwards, the two triangles would fold inwards as well, and it would make like the shape of a Toblerone, which is a triangular prism. Okay, so these are nets. In some cases, you have to draw them accurately in the exam on squared paper, but just think of it as 
imagining the 3D shape unraveled, what would the dimensions be? What would it look like?